Hi guys, uh, just going to bring you some news that's come out and it's concerning UK Column uh, which are uh, uh, a kind of you know, sort of uh, investigative uh, YouTube channel, just a few people getting together and they're looking into the uh, looking into the sort of, uh, sort of situation in the UK um, and uh, you know they have their own viewpoints and uh, understanding and what have you. Uh, now, to be honest with you, I'm, uh, you know, I, I really appreciated their research. To be quite honest with you, um, and uh, although I have to say they're, they're from a slightly different political paradigm, and they're kind of a bit pro new compared to what I am, as you probably uh, realise, those of you that know me out there. Uh, but having said that, though, um, they are very good researchers, and they've, uh, you know, they've got a good heart. I believe they've got a good heart. You know, they're looking into things and don't always agree with everything they say. Um, but on the other hand, they uh, they do dig around, and I can sit there and I can go through their links and check out and disagree or agree with what they're uh, they're putting out there. Anyway, I just want to bring you to a little story. I think I'm, I've just put together uh, uh, in kind of in support of uh, UK Column uh, um, uh, and a, a little statement, if you like. And uh, uh, what I should do, you know, if anybody who's just picked up this video and they don't know who the hell I am. Uh, I've been uh, researching uh, uh, the sort of anti-nuclear scene, or oh, been in the anti-nuclear scene uh, for some time now, and it all started off with Fukushima. So, all right, look, the bottom line is I was a researcher for the NGOs that are connected with the UN um, uh, appeal that's on behalf of the children and families of Fukushima. Now. Um, these people have been victimized by the USA, uh, the Japanese, the French, and the UK, all right? Um, and the, you know, the nuclear lobbies involved with that, the governments, the financial people, the insurance company, insurance investment companies, the banking investment. Um, so what happened with me is I got targeted um, probably around about, uh, it would have been uh, 20, 13, um, oh, sorry, no, 2012, I started getting targeted by insurance companies. Uh, into 2014, I started getting very direct uh, inf you know, sort of, um, surveillance issues and uh, phone calls to companies I work with and all sorts of things. Uh, needless to say, I lost my, uh, my home, my job, uh, you know, I lost my bike, my motorbike, I lost my, my uh, possessions, I lost everything. Uh, it took them about a year to really to kick into me. Uh, I couldn't use a mobile phone for a year. Uh, my my uh, mail was being uh, um, uh, intercepted and redirected and held onto for 20 days and all sorts of strange things. Um, so, all right, okay, so enough about me, but th that's just kind of why I moved to Ireland uh, because, you know, at the end of the day, I, I, <laughs> I couldn't operate at all in the UK. My friends were being targeted as well around me and other activists I work with were being targeted. So, okay. Now, the, the UK is central to this cover-up of this nuclear issue, in fact, uh, more so than the rest of those countries um, because they, they offer the uh, sort of scientists that will say there's no issue with low dose or even high dose radiation according to uh, to, to the UK scientists that are involved with this um, and so the victims in Japan um, have have had to deal with with this and, and there's uh, science media centers and lots of other things that have been covering this up and I have done videos on this before uh, because but it's only a small part um, so you know, they've been targeting the victims of Japan now. Uh, the UK has uh, covered up the Chernobyl thing. They were central to covering up the Chernobyl thing. They were uh, also recently uh, busy covering up the uh, victims of Kazakhstan. You know, they're really obvious victims of Kazakhstan. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously the British nuclear test veterans have just got 25 million, you know, for 10 generations of, uh, of, uh, of genetic defect. You know, they say 20, 10 generations. But in Kazakhstan, each generation brings worse and worse uh, genetic defects. You know, so much so, the Kazakhstans have, uh, uh, have given the people of semi-palantisk, where these uh, bombs were dropped, uh, genetic passports. And they deny them the right to have children. So that's, that's a, a kind of future. You know that uh, that we're heading towards with the nuclear industry. 
but that aside anyway. The, the ties with the City of London and the financial district and the swing door between them and the UK security service management and their connection with the media um, have manipulated the discourse concerning these and other nuclear disasters. And they've connected and they're connected uh, military and security services programs. So the whole thing sort of ties together to cover it up, to stop it, you know, uh, and that's specific to nuclear. But most other things were discussed in the UK. But now, you know, uh, we had this hardy bunch of researchers at UK Column had noticed that these other things weren't being discussed and they dug into the situation and uh, they're based in Plymouth, UK, in Devon. And they've been looking into the connections of people, companies, government departments in connection with fraud, paedophilia and manipulation of the energy markets. So, you know, uh, that, that was just a little bit of what they did. But um, what they did do is they did an interview with a guy called Trevor Jackson, uh, ex-nuclear uh, submarine uh, engineer, who, who invented something called an aluminium fuel cell. Now, he was targeted by the French and the UK security services. And, you know, he lost everything. He lost his home. He lost his money. He came back with his tail between his le legs to the UK. Um, and uh, he basically got uh, targeted by, uh, you know, sort of the security services here and told to, look, y your invention ain't going to wash. We can't recharge this battery with our nuclear power plants. So just you know, just, just walk away, walk away. We don't need your clean energy, all right? <laughs> and this would have been a clean energy that would have been used in a local setting. So local people could have you know, revamped these aluminium fuel cells, put them out to various places. They're really great for people who live in the middle of nowhere. They could have even been developed to be used in cities and things like this as well. But anyway, uh, the uh, not only is the research and investment, but, but the guy who was trying to develop it uh, had everything taken off him and he got warned away. He got taken off him by the French, he got warned away by the UK security services. And so the security services connected to the corporations, the electric corporations and various other corporations and the insurance industries and the banking industry and the, the, manage, you know, the managers of these security services basically go into, um, you know, um, go into the investment banking and, and all these other corporations, you know, and that's why in this time round, in this recession, no bankers have been nicked and only people who've, who've uh, said, look, the bankers should be nicked have been targeted, okay? So, I mean, I've been following UK Column over the last year or so and, um, you know, they're generally pro-nuclear, but, you know, as I said, they do some good research and their research, some of their research at least, um, is very uh, relevant to mine and certainly concerning their stuff about Leveson and, you know, they've done some really good stuff there. Um, and, uh, you know, they did point out, you know, that they're a bit worried about the Chinese and uh, various other countries, which they haven't mentioned, but as far as I'm aware anyway, but it'd be Russia, Vietnam, South Korea, all these dodgy nuclear companies, uh, dodgy nuclear countries, um, and including Russia, yeah, I didn't accidentally say that we've got memorandum of understanding with Russia you know DEC have, or the NDA have that, I think uh, nuclear uh, uh, decommissioning authority um, so you know um, and my research brought back the fact that you know these other countries are involved and also TEPCO the disastrous nuclear uh, Japanese uh, company who, who, who can't even clean up their own mess and you know they, they're doing a reasonable job in tech, you know in, in Fukushima Daiichi but you know that they, they've only just sort of been nipping away at the edges there you know and putting the least amount of money and trying to force people to move back into contaminated areas so that's something for the UK to look forward to if, uh, if TEPCO have another disaster over here um, and they'll be supported by the UK government, as they are in Japan. So um, this brings me to the Leveson inquiry uh, we, we got there, and, and that was used to target all media in the UK um, with the help of various quangos uh, and charities uh, like Science Media Centre and quangos like, uh, well, the UK column have covered it, um, and they do have some videos up explaining exactly who those are. Uh, various quangos are and the people that are connected and the little revolving door of companies between legal companies and what have you um, are worth a view. Um, I will leave a link uh, to the UK column site where you can get to some of these uh, videos that they have been allowed to, to keep up. Um, 
anyway, so these quangos, they, they manipulate the information in general um, and they, they just redefine laws, you know, the, the government redefine laws and um, that they, they sort of say, well, you know, freedom of information requests, well, we're a private company, well, we're not a private company. They keep everything vague and nobody knows really. You know, it's probably part of the reason why the government wants to privatise everything because then there'll be no transparency whatsoever. Um, anyway, so these, uh, you, you know, the basic it's all backed up with harassment from security services and various police companies, you know, police forces, like the National Domestic Extremist Unit uh, that was set up... Uh, you know, to go after uh, people who are burning houses down for animal rights, you know, but now they're targeted little old ladies that do knitting and what have you. All right, so NGOs, media and politicians were targeted using a plethora of techniques and media uh, organisations and high-profile journalists uh, to destroy the credibility of a range of uh, high-profile opposition uh, voices. Um, so, you know, people like Chris Busby, you know, on the anti-nuclear front, he's been targeted big time, you know, George Monbiat was the guy that was asked to uh, target him and he's done a fantastic job. Everybody wonders why George Monbiat became pro-nuclear. Well, he had no choice, you know, he's probably got some dirt on him, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but he's become very pro-nuclear and even though he, he disagrees that there's a waste problem and this, that and the other, um, he, he's just got this, uh, bio, you know, sort of uh, fixed vision on it. Um, and he doesn't want wind turbines and solar that seem to work and hydro and uh, all the rest of it. Uh, but then there's George Galloway, you know, uh, he got targeted, um, Daily Mail targeted him uh, with a, a sort of bit of information that was given by MI5 and MI5 sent some people in to work with George Galloway's office to get into his computer that wasn't on the internet because, um, you know, they couldn't access it because he wasn't on the internet with that particular computer. Um, and there was a smear campaign to do with uh, George Galloway on that one as well. But uh, anyway, Glenn Greenwald, Julian Assange, Edward Snowden, you know, the editor of The Guardian. Uh, yeah, there's quite a few of them. Um, and in case you haven't noticed, uh, you know, The Guardian now, if they're doing uh, in a recent uh, article about Edward Snowden or NSA, uh, they actually had to go to China Daily for their copy. They couldn't do it themselves. So that's just a little point of their view about how things are being manipulated in the UK. Right. Other West know, well known activists and researchers, they were attacked using a system of banks, insurance companies, mobile phone companies, internet service providers, um, and in my case, the, you know, the, 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 uh, the mail as well, the actual uh, physical snail mail. Um, and they're fronted by the police actions uh, and investigations that block FOI requests and various other things. Now the UK uh, column has been uh, in many incidents uh, has had many incidents of technical problems and uh, attacked by uh, the J Trig operators mentioned by uh, uh, Glenn Greenwell and Snowden, um, who basically uh, you know leave rubbish on their YouTube comments to try and disrupt their uh, their, their sort of social media stuff, um, and you know various people have been. Uh, sort of attack to work with the UK column as well, you know, police operations and all sorts of things, especially to do with paedophilia, you know, they like to go for the victims, not the abusers, uh, but anyway, so uh, talking about uh, disrupting uh, discourse, yeah, and finally they, they've been uh, targeted by uh, government or private entities that wish to control the content of the investigation, uh, and I think it's Atvod or Atvos, um, who are the uh, come out of the Leveson inquiry, and they they are going around. They're saying, well, if you're a TV program, uh, which they're claiming that uh, UK column are, and they're not, they're an internet uh, group who are discussing information, uh, and you know, it's a, kind of a slick way. They you know they've got a green screen and it looks really sweet. Um, and uh, but unfortunately, that's a little bit too real news, you know. So uh, so basically, they've been targeted, and they've had to shut all their videos down. Uh, they've uh, now doing videos uh, on the beach, which isn't a bad idea, <laughs> and in their kitchens and things like that. Uh, but you know, at the end of the day, they should have the right to have a green screen. So you know, what's that all about? Uh, well, it's about their content. Yeah, they, people don't want their content getting out. You know, an aluminium fuel cell paedophiles in government, uh, you know, and all the other stuff they're doing. So uh, freedom of speech is now finished in the UK. 
So where, where, where are we in the UK then? So we've got fracking going ahead with huge police and government backing, demonstrations not being reported, even though it's 50,000 people, it really doesn't matter, it doesn't get reported. You know, the people, uh, the, the, the people that watch the BBC are not allowed to uh, uh, sort of see this. The People's Parliament gets no discussion on the mainstream media,